What up, YouTube? Welcome back like to another video on this rainy day, y'all. But it's still beautiful. And what I'm going to be doing today, um, towards the end of the week, supposed to be getting 14 degrees, 17, 18 degrees. But look here. I got babies I need to protect. So, what I'm going to do, or I'm going to attempt to do, as always... I'm going to bubble wrap my greenhouse because uh, bubble wrap is good. It's a good insulator. You know, keep the temperatures off. I don't have a um, dedicated heat source yet. So I'm going to do what I got to do to get by. Y'all stay tuned. But first, we got to get uh, the plants out so I can do it. Let's go. All right, y'all. I got some of the plants side enough for me to move around. And this is what I'm going to be using. Velcro, one of them stick. It's got adhesive on it. And that's the other side, the Velcro to whatever, and then you put them together. Uh, I think it was like 19 bucks at uh, Home Depot. Of course, it's more than I want to spend. But my thing is, on really cold nights, if I do it correctly, I can put it up and then pull it down with the velcro strips and it's just easy peeling and put back up there all right so i want to start in the corner and go around so at the bottom is the hard tin what i'm more concerned about is the plastic or the uh Carbonate, what you know what I'm talking about, the greenhouse plastic that we're using. So I'm gonna stick one here, one at the bottom, and we're gonna go from there. You know what I don't got y'all? Seals. Alright, we're back. I got my seals. I don't know. A couple of inches. Take my little Velcro, please. And just put it straight up there. You got adhesive sticky side on it. My other side, that holds to the Velcro, I'm gonna put it on the bubble wrap. Cut one more piece. Put it right here. All right. I'm going to put the bubbles to the inside. Does it make a difference? I don't know. So my other piece, I'm going to stick it to my bubble wrap. Got it on. Let's see what it works. Ooh. And then if it's not like I want it, I just can peel it apart. Move it up a little bit. All right, take my other part, connect it to the bubble wrap, like so. And we're gonna go across the top. She goes her own way. Like I don't give a damn girl And my god she owns it So many heartbreaks Goes back 
to 2014 And I think that she knows it And if you've seen her I know that you would believe it Cause I, I know that you'd want her to Yeah, I do Everyone's taking their shot But missing out on the cut I think she knows that She drives her crazy when she's looking like that The way she's moving makes her want it so bad I'm gonna I'm go around and then I'm gonna come back on the second pair. Y'all stay tuned. Alright, y'all, we back. Let me get you a little backup view of this. Got the bubble wrap all the way in now. Got it to here. Got the bubble wrap all the way around. All the way around. All the way around. Now, what I did, I end up buying a heater. Heater. Got a side up in the corner. I got a timer right here. Where I can get my timer going, where it only run at night. I don't have it plugged up right now because I'm in the greenhouse and I want the heater to stay on. But it's a state one. So I'm plugging in. And then I got my cord running all the way back up to the house and this is how we're going to keep everything warm keep everything copacetic and my babies definitely won't die or will they you have to watch the next video